Police say they expected trouble when hostile biker gangs met here, but still weren't able to avert a bloody shootout. A fist fight began in the restaurant, then escalated to clubs and knives and spilled outside, where bikers exchanged gunfire with each other and police. I will tell you that in 34 years of law enforcement, this is the worst crime scene, the most violent crime scene that I have ever been involved in. There are dead people still there. Um, there is blood everywhere. I will tell you that we have recovered numerous weapons. We will probably approach the number of 100 weapons that were recovered from individuals here at this biker fight, if you will. As many as 30 guns were fired, say witnesses. Only when police arrived in sufficient numbers could they end the violence using firearms themselves. There were multiple arrests and recriminations as both sides blamed the other. My son's in there and my husband's in there and the bandito gang members always think they do whatever they want to people, want to pull guns out and start shooting people. That's what they did in there. Nobody was doing anything and they want to start shooting people. They don't leave people alone. I don't know what the problem is. Police say it's amazing innocent people weren't killed in the restaurant next door as the bullets started flying. They remain concerned that rival biker factions are still in the area and may continue settling scores. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News. Gang members always think they do whatever they want to people, want to pull guns out and start shooting people. That's what they did in there. Guns, knives, clubs, and chains in an arsenal of weapons in a fight between rival biker gangs ends with multiple deaths and injuries. It happened at the Twin Peaks restaurant in Waco. The chain's headquarters are right here in North Texas. Live in Waco right now, hundreds of police officers are pouring over the parking lot tonight. An officer says this is one of the most gruesome scenes he's seen in 34 years on the job. We have many angles to cover on this story from what happened to the connection to North Texas. So here is the newest information at 10. We can tell you nine people are dead, 18 injured. Police say up to 200 bikers were on the scene when the shootout started. The shootout happened shortly after noon in Waco along I-35, about 90 miles south of Dallas and Fort Worth. We're going to take you closer to the crime scene right now. The Twin Peaks restaurant is part of a shopping center along I-35, just north of where it crosses Loop 340. A Central Texas Veterans Hospital is northwest of the crime scene. Baylor University and the Texas Ranger Hall of Fame are well north of the shooting scene. NBC5's Kevin Coakley spoke to Waco police about the investigation tonight. And NBC5's Jocelyn Lockwood is breaking down new information on the future of Twin Peaks and today's violence. Violence. Let's start with Kevin live in Waco. Kevin. Amanda, they're still working the scene back there in the parking lot where that shootout happened. A deadly gun battle that involved both police and bikers. Weapons still scattered over the parking lot. Investigators remained on the scene as the sun set, hours after it erupted in utter chaos. Nobody was doing anything and they want to start shooting people. They don't leave people alone. I don't know what the problem is. The gang fight broke out shortly after noon. The Twin Peaks restaurant packed with perhaps 200 bikers from five rival gangs throughout Texas. Punches thrown first, then knives drawn, followed by shots fired as the brawl spilled out into the parking lot. As our officers pulled up within seconds on scene, um, there was a gunfight numerous gunfights going on between rival gang members. Police responding to the gunfight took fire themselves and shot back. When the smoke cleared, nine people were dead, another 18 injured, all bikers, according to police. This is probably one of the most violent, um, gruesome scenes that I've seen, and the place reeked of violence. Um, blood pools, blood, blood spatters, blood streams. Um, Pretty gory sight. Waco police recovered nearly 50 weapons and detained about the same number of possible suspects. These are members that are involved in uh, criminal activities such as drug dealing, petty thefts, assault, extortions. Waco police say they've been watching these biker gangs for some time now, aware that tensions were rising and that some of them plan to meet here this afternoon. Live in Waco, Kevin Coakley, NBC5.
All right, thank you, Kevin. The Twin Peaks chain is based in Addison, but its Waco restaurant is an independently owned franchise. And tonight, the location's future may be in trouble because of accusations by police that managers there could have helped prevent today's violence. NBC 5's Jocelyn Lockwood is live in Irving with information she just received from Twin Peaks headquarters. Jocelyn. Yes, we just learned, although no decision has been made just yet, Twin Peaks Corporate is seriously considering revoking the Waco restaurant's franchise if statements made by police are found to be true. Here's how it works. Twin Peaks Corporate does own some restaurants, but others, like the Waco branch, are independently owned and operated franchises. We received a statement today from Twin Peaks Corporate saying, quote, we were shocked by the shootings that took place in the parking lot of our franchised restaurant in Waco and are fully reviewing all the circumstances surrounding it. We are thankful no employees, guests, or police were injured in this senseless violence outside the restaurant, and our sympathies are with the families of those killed. Now, following the deadly fight, Waco police have opened up and said they tried to work with local management at that location. They said they knew there was going to be trouble and it could have have been avoided, but management failed to listen to police. We have attempted to work with the local management of Twin Peaks to no avail. They have continued to allow these bikers to gather here, and this is the culmination of what has occurred. Now, within just the last hour, we received a statement from the Waco franchise saying, in part, quote, we are horrified by the criminal violent acts that occurred outside of our Waco restaurant today. We share in the community's trauma. It goes on to say, our management team has had ongoing and positive communications with the police and will continue to work with them as we all want to keep violent crime out of our business and our community. We will continue to cooperate with police as they invest investigate this crime. Now, a spokesman for Twin Peaks Corporate told me today that franchise in Waco has been in operation less than a year. We are live tonight. Jocelyn Lockwood, NBC5. All right, thank you, Jocelyn. And if you're just joining us, a deadly biker brawl at a Twin Peaks restaurant in Waco leaves nine people dead and 18 injured. The nine killed were all members of a biker gang. Police were aware of today's meeting in advance. They were, there were additional police and state troopers on scene when the fight began. And dozens of suspected gang members have been detained. And this is very much still a developing story, so we're going to continue to gather new information on the Waco, Waco biker brawl. Kevin Coakley will rejoin us live at 1030. And right now, download the NBC DFW app for new information on this story all night long.